Why was Anya Taylor-Joy's role in Dune, Part 2 kept under wraps? Anya Taylor-Joy made a surprise appearance on the red carpet for Dune, Part 2, confirming long-held rumors about her involvement in the highly-awaited film. In an interview with The Hollywood Reporter, director Denis Villeneuve claimed that he intentionally kept Taylor-Joy's casting a secret until the last minute. Villeneuve viewed it as a test of Hollywood's gossip-driven nature and how long the secret could be held. We did it. It was a special squad, and we traveled to Africa under tight security to shoot with Anya. I just like the idea of keeping something a surprise for the audience until the end. It was like a gift I wanted to keep for the fans, Villeneuve told The Portal. Although Taylor Joy's part in Dune, part 2 is brief, acting primarily as an uncredited cameo, her character's relevance in Dune's larger narrative will become more apparent in subsequent installments. Villeneuve has indicated interest in converting Frank Herbert's second novel, Dune Messiah, into a film, which would give Taylor Joy's character a larger part. However, he stated that he is not in a haste to complete that project. There is a strong urge to have a third one, but I do not want to rush it. The issue in Hollywood is that people become overly enthused and focus on release dates rather than quality, Villeneuve told The Times of London. The first installment of this series, Dune, Part 1, was released in October 2021 and tells the story of a young man named Paul Atreides, who is destined for greatness, but is oblivious of the momentous destiny that awaits him. He embarks on a quest to the most deadly planet in the universe. According to the official website, Dune, Part 2 will follow Paul Atreides' quest as he joins Chani and the Fremen on a revenge mission against the conspirators who slaughtered his family. It is planned to open in theaters on March 1st.